The Shrouds is a new David Cronenberg film starring Vincent Cassel, Diane Kruger and Guy Pearce. Uh, Vincent Cassell plays a businessman who uh, owns a graveyard that has a special technology in the graveyard. He's not sure how he got his money but he invented a uh, technology where people can uh, look inside the grave of their dead um, family, their husband, their wife, their kids and uh, it's like a, a screen that's connected to their phone or they can download an app and they can see their dead body inside the grave it's called a shroud the name of the movie a shroud and the families can connect to the to the dead bodies of their family uh, anytime they want and uh vincent console uh, he the businessman he has created his technology and uh, his job is to uh, go around the world and, and try and find uh uh, countries or, or people who want to develop into this technology and that's, uh, that's his business. Uh, the first uh, few scenes of the film is um, uh, he's, uh, he's a widow, he's, uh, his wife has passed away six years ago from cancer and the first uh, few scenes of the movie kind of set up um, that he's, he hasn't really gotten over the death of his wife. Um, his wife is buried in, uh, in his grave in uh, Toronto, uh, Canada, uh, he has a restaurant um, in the cemetery next to um, these graves that he's um, um, it's built. He has about I don't know, 10, 15 graves in his graveyard. Uh, one of them is his dead wife, and then the other graves are other people, um, Canadian people who um, have have invested in his uh, technology. Uh, he, in the, one of the first scenes of the movie, he, uh, he goes on a blind date uh, with. Um, someone because he hasn't since the death of his wife he hasn't really been uh, so he hasn't seen anybody so he goes on a blind date with somebody and uh, he explains the technology to uh, this woman uh, and this woman is kind of like freaked out by the whole thing uh, she can, you can see clearly see he hasn't uh, gotten over the death of his wife because she talk, he talks about her pretty much the whole time okay, in this film uh, Diane Kruger plays three characters uh, she plays uh, his uh, dead wife. Uh, his dead wife is mostly played in flashbacks, in kind of like a flashback dream sequence. Like we, we see flashbacks from when she was sick, when she had cancer, when she was in hospital. And these are all dream sequences in uh, Vincent Cassell's head. Um, so he, he dreams all of these uh, um, interactions that he had here with his wife when she was sick, when she had uh, cancer. And uh, Diane Krug also plays uh, his dead wife's sister as well. Uh, and she also plays um, an AI computer assistant that is on his computer. Uh, his AI assistant uh, is called Honey and she looks after the grave site, all of the screens and the computers and the, the whole technology and uh, everything to do with the, the grave. She, the AI looks after this uh, technology and uh, as a, like an AI avatar, um, she talks to him uh, every day and just about what's going on with the, um, the graves. In the first half of the film, uh, Vincent Cassell goes to visit uh, um, Diane Kruger, the sister of his dead wife, and uh, he, he's been monitoring uh, his dead wife's grave on video camera and he's been noticing something's happening to her body like it's been changing and uh, he's talking to his um, sister-in-law about um, like what, what's going on and and he's like try, trying to think of conspiracy theories and and why um, what's happening to the body and she he zooms in on the body and she sh and he shows his sister-in-law the changes that's happening to his body and then and both him and her that talk about um, what could be happening, like uh, um, the the, comp the country and company that invented the technology is a Chinese company, and maybe they uh, have something to do with it. And uh, yeah, so that's the first, that's what happens in the first half of the film. After this, we're introduced to Guy Pierce's character. Guy Pierce uh, used to be married to 
um, his dead wife's sister, so actually the guy Pierce is uh, Vincent Kersel's, uh a brother-in-law. He's kind of like an IT uh, tech guru. Uh, he's a bit of a nebbish, a nerdish guy, a bit of a, I know, strange character. Um, he's divorced from uh, um, Diane Kruger's sister, um, and uh, Vincent Gasol um, asks him for help to find out um, what's happening to uh, his uh, dead wife's body. And they also receive a video. Um, uh, um, recorded on on phone camera of someone going to the grave site at night time and and um, uh, and destroying a few of the graves about nine or ten of the graves and uh, so he asks um, uh, Guy Pierce's character for help in finding out what uh, uh, why why someone has gone to the grave site and, and destroyed the uh, uh, graves and why have they sent the footage of this um, to them and like what did they want um, and um, they and him and Guy Pearce uh, talk about more conspiracy theories like the technology technology was developed by um, uh, the Chinese and, and and maybe that has something to do with why um, his wife's body has been altered after this uh, the, the plot gets more and more convoluted and, and complicated uh, there's actually uh, another a plot concerning there's a businessman from hung Hungary uh, who wants to invest in this technology he wants to build a uh, grave site in Hungary in Budapest uh, with the same technology that uh, Vincent Cassel is using in his grave in Toronto and uh, but he, we never get to meet this businessman his, uh, his wife flies over to Toronto to have a look at the grave site and to talk to uh, Vincent Cassel and uh, his wife is actually uh, quite attractive and blind I don't know why <laughs> David Cranenberg decided to make this character blind but uh, she's blind and they um, they end up um, forming a relationship they end up having a sexual relationship even though she's still married to his her, her ex-husband her ex-husband is dying of cancer maybe and her, her ex-husband her, actually her husband wants to be buried in Budapest in this grave technology so she's flying flown to, to, to Toronto to um, meet with Vince Cancel and they form a relationship a sexual relationship and uh, throughout the film they have uh, they meet and have sex uh, several times during these meetings with um, uh, the blind wife we find out that uh, there's some complications because uh, because Vincent Cusso really wants this client because he's rich and if this will really forward his business uh, it will give him a, a lot of the money to advance his business to uh, uh, other ventures and uh, but the Hungarian businessman is a bit uh, hesitant because he thinks that um, the, the Russians will use this technology uh, in um, the graves to spy on everybody and 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 it's just crazy okay in the second half of the film it gets more and it's more more and plot more plot all of, all of the a lot of the plot points in the first half of the film just don't go go nowhere and uh, so in the second half of the film about one hour and 15 minutes into the film it's just one crazy scene where um, um, the Diane Kruger uh, sister character she visits uh, Vincent Cassel at his apartment and they talk about um, all of the cons all of these conspiracy theories and about um, the blind woman that uh, um, his new girlfriend that, that she's he's been seeing and then um, and then we find out that uh, they introduce this new character where his dead wife was seeing some doctor before she met Vincent Cassell and before she was sick before she had cancer and she had some kind of and she, he was a, a university lecturer and then she had a he was very old and he had a um, relationship with her when she was younger and and then but actually he he liked her but it was it was never a sexual relationship and then and then later on when she got sick like many years later he ends up being her 
doctor in hospital looking after her when she has cancer and then and then Fitzgerald suspects that he's using her for some weird experiments and and he suspects that when he was away on business that he was sleeping having sex with he, her ex-university lecturer and it's just crazy just the scene comes out of nowhere and then suddenly the scene changes and D Diane Kruger sister confesses that when she talks about conspiracy theory she gets sexually aroused she gets very hot and horny when she talks about conspiracy theory so and and she's always had a, a crush she's always had a affection for Vincent Cassell even though she was married to even when she was married to Guy Pearce so she confesses oh I need you I've always loved you I want to have sex with you and then after that there's a, a scene a sex scene quite a long sex scene about five minutes where uh, where uh, she pretends to be her, her dead sister and oh is this how you fucked your wife and I, I can pretend to be your wife please fuck me like your wife blah 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 it's just it's a very strange scene like David Cronenberg has has had some characters in these films where they're turned on by strange things by cars or crashing and stuff but in this film and she's uh, aroused by uh, uh, conspiracy theories it's uh, very strange okay the next scene is a bit of a meltdown scene with uh, Guy Pearce where we f he finds out that uh, because he actually he invented the honey AI um, system that Vincent Cassaw uses in his um, property for his grave technology so actually it's not really an AI it's actually Guy Pearce he's actually pretending to be an AI and he's monitoring and he can hear and listen to everything that Vince Cassell does so he finds out that um, uh, Vince Cassell is, is fucking his ex-wife is uh, having sex with um, the ex, um, ex uh, the dead wife's sister so uh, we find out that he he confesses that he, he is the one who uh, desecrated the graves he is the one who destroyed the graves and um, he's, he has revenge against uh, Vincent Cassell and uh, he's gone crazy he um, uh, he thinks he, he thinks he's been chased by the Chinese because um, um, the Chinese don't trust trust the the Russians because the Russians want to use the grave technology to spy on people and then he says he's been kidnapped by the Chinese and and it's, just cra it's a crazy confession scene at the end and then um, a, during that scene he, sh he takes he has a bandage on, on his finger and he takes off the bandage and and he's missing like two, two or three fingers and he says the Chinese cut off his fingers and then and then with that the scene ends and then we have the next scene after that is um, him and Diane Kruger talking about his her ex-husband so he's crazy he's he lost those two fingers in an accident many years ago and and she's like, you never noticed. So, so he's no, he's 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 known the guy Pierce character for like 10, 15 years, and he's never noticed that he's missing two fingers. It's just one of those crazy, ridiculous scenes. It's like, okay. And um, anyway, so so that that's we get the meltdown scene with Guy Pierce. He confesses everything, all the bad things that happened in the, in the first half of the film. He is responsible for, I guess. And then the last scene of the movie is um, um, the last couple of scenes of the movie is the second last of the same movies where is um, uh, maybe his uh, dead wife was actually having an affair with the doctor who was looking after her when she was having cancer. So she she arranges for him to be buried next to her in the grave and. So um, Vincent Cassell in the next scene he um, ends up flying to uh, Budapest by playing on, on the same plane with um, uh, the blind woman and then during the last scene um, he, um, he has some kind of dream fantasy sequence where the, the blind woman is um, pretending to be his dead wife and, and so he has a, 
conversation with her like why why is the doctor why is your um, doctor you have an affair with sleeping next to you in the grave and then and then the movie just ends that's it so it's just a whole bunch of ideas in this film um, yeah this film doesn't really work um, the two positives I can say about the film is I didn't really see where it was going so that did have me intrigued and the film is so crazy that it's not boring and it has a good cast a good good cast it looks good good acting but and you don't really see where it's going so it does keep you hooked in that way but it just it doesn't there's so many um, plot um, uh, elements that just go nowhere there's so many um, themes that it, it tries to explore but just doesn't go anywhere um, it's not satisfying in any way um, as you can tell by the plot it's just completely ridiculous uh, it just doesn't and the ending it's just it's so the plot is so crazy that there's no way that the ending can put it all together in a satisfying way so um, this was a bit of a disappointment but uh, I think some people if you were com coming in with an open mind and you're a big uh, David Cronenberg fan then maybe you'll get something out of this but for me um, I can only give um, uh, The Shrouds uh, two stars out of five.